And new at six, fans of acrobatic drivers in giant trucks have a lot to like this weekend as Monster Jam returns to PPG Paints Arena. But for a little boy with post-traumatic stress syndrome, it's not just a performance, it's a release. Dave Crawley has the story. Massive trucks of Monster Jam are back in the Berg for a weekend of daredevil entertainment. They lined up early at PPG Paints Arena for Monster Jam's biggest little fan. <gasps> Look at that! Oh my goodness! Three-year-old Logan Sturm of Penn Hills gets the surprise of his life. Monster Jam up close and personal. Do you want to see how I climb in? Come over here. J.R. Seesock drives Monster Mutt Rottweiler. It's a good puppy. But this is Logan's favorite. You want to go see Gravedigger? Yeah, let's go look at Gravedigger. The driver of Rottweiler is a cordial host. This is his dream to be in front of Monster Jam, and he wants to drive one day. So being out here to walk around these trucks, hang out with me for just a little bit, show him the track, show him about my truck. He even reached up and pet my ear, gave me some good luck for tonight. So hopefully I can take this win tonight for him. For little Logan, Monster Jam is more than just a great show. It's a coping mechanism. The National Weather Service in Pittsburgh has issued a tornado warning. Logan's mom says he was traumatized on a visit to Morgantown last summer when a tornado struck his grandparents' house. Anytime he gets scared or spooked, we get Monster Jam videos or we get Monster Jam toys. He became friends with trash collector Randy Fuller, who drives a really cool truck. His supervisor says Randy and Logan will attend the show together Saturday afternoon. Logan meets him every day with a, with a smile and a hug, so it's pretty inspirational. Final surprise, a grave digger pillow. That's about as big as you, isn't it? With a monster hug for Monster Jam, I'm Dave Crawley. <laughs>